there. This is Jill coming to you from the Homestead Kitchen, which is a fabulous place of abundance. What I'm doing today is making gut shots. What is that, you ask? Because I hadn't heard of it either before about a year ago. Gut shots are um, basically a fermented cabbage drink. Really easy, sort of like sauerkraut, only it's all liquid. We use the whole cabbage, but then let it ferment just a little bit, but it goes really fast. So you can make this and get a really quick turnaround to get all those good prebiotic, probiotic kind of things that are going on in sauerkraut. And you just take a shot of it and it's all good. So literally it's a shot for your gut. You just need a tiny bit and you're going to really populate your intestines and your whole digestive tract with the bacterias that help you digest your food and really get your nutrition out of it, which is the name of the game when you're eating really healthy food and you want to get everything that there is to get out of it. So I am going to show you how I do this. So half a head of cabbage and I chopped it into pieces. I have a really nice Vitamix knockoff blender. If you have just a regular, like a $30 Walmart blender, I would just cut them up a little bit smaller, but it's still going to have the same effect. It's perfectly all right. So I have a half a head of chopped cabbage. You might not get the whole thing in there. I'm going to add water. Now my recipe called for a half a head of cabbage and seven cups of water. We'll see how that works, because I don't want to overfill that. And then salt. I'm using real salt. You could use Himalayan salt. Just please don't use iodized table salt in this. You never, ever, ever use iodized salt in any kind of ferment or canning or anything, whether it's vegetables or meats because it concentrates the iodine and you don't need that. You want kosher salt, real salt, Himalayan pink salt. There's a bazillion of them, but a good clean one. Now, what I'm doing for fun is adding a little turmeric because it's winter and my joints are gonna appreciate that. And I'm going to add a little ginger. Make a little room here. Because I'm not gonna be eating this directly, I can just throw it in with skin and everything. Throw in the whole bit of ginger, that's probably a lot. So this, this is all to taste. There's my ginger in there. With the turmeric. I could have thrown a little caraway in there, that might be good. Put the lid on and we're gonna blend it up here. Okay, we have a wonderful liquid here. You can see it's well blended. What we have is cabbage juice. I'm pouring it into now a two quart jar. Oh, there's a big chunk of cabbage. That's all right, it's all gonna work. I'm gonna rinse this with a little extra water. All the good stuff. And I've got a little room in my jar yet. The next step is just time. As with most ferments, that's the name of the game, is just time. Because with most ferments, you know, you want to keep them down below the water line. 
But because this is all blended up, that's going to be about impossible. So I'm going to take a little bit of plastic wrap and work it down in there so that it helps to create that air seal so I don't get spoilage. I can get ferment. If you can't entirely do that, this isn't rocket science. You'll survive. Just see how it looks to you. There's also froth in there, so I'm going to keep an eye on it with time. But I've got a pretty good seal in on top of it. Put my lid on. And I'm going to let this sit in just a cool, dark place, probably back in the corner here because it doesn't get sunlight for three, two, three, five days, somewhere in there, till it looks like how I want it. And then it's going to be done. I will run it through a cheesecloth strainer so that it takes out all of the solid bits and I just have juice. So I have a fermented cabbage juice, gut shots, very tasty, good for your digestion, help you digest your food better. And it's very easy and quick. Once you've strained it, if you like it a little stronger, you really like fermented stuff, <laughs> you can let it set for another two days. It is perfectly fine on the counter. You don't have to refrigerate it until you want it to quit fermenting. If you want it to quit, put it in the fridge. For as long as it's working, you can just leave it on the counter and it will be fine. There are infinite variations to this. In the summer, you can add some of your wild weeds. You can add different spices that suit you, that just sound good in the time. Feel free to follow your gut, because your gut will tell you what it wants and what's going to really nourish it, and you can add that to your ferment and really power pack it. three days since we started our gut shots. You can see how it's separated. We've got this fluffy, pulpy stuff on the top and the bottom, but when I smelled it this morning, it smelled nicely fermented. So we're gonna go ahead and strain it and you can see how this part of the process works. I don't like a strong ferment, so I'm not gonna let it go very long. If you like a stronger ferment or play with it as you go, and see how it works. See what you like. Okay, I have a strainer, fine mesh with a cheesecloth, and this is my two quart jar that I'm going to be pouring into. Let's see how this works. I may end up wishing that I'd had a slightly larger pitcher. It smells good and fermented. Now I'm going to get a bigger pitcher to strain off the rest of it. But it gives you an idea of what we've got here. That's the gut shot cabbage juice. Let's give it a try. Now that we've strained it off, pour it a little bit. Let's see how it tastes. That's good. It's not over briny or overly fermented tasting, but I can taste the ferment going on and it is really good. Really good. I might let this sit now for a little bit longer and see how it goes. This is to flavor, to taste, to see what you like. But just by grinding up the cabbage, adding a little salt and water, letting it sit, give it time and space, you've got a great probiotic, prebiotic kind of drink for the cost of a cabbage. So that's Gut Shots, and now you know how to do it.
Have a great November day. Bye, 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 bye.